15,000 likes, I will order the brutal, okay? But if, if it's like triple the amount of what I got in right now, I don't even know if I want to do that, man. It's up to y'all. It's in your freaking hands, okay? Today, I go back to my motherland. Everybody likes to talk about their history of where their family comes from. If you have red hair, you probably tell everyone that you're born in Dublin. You're best friends with Cone McGregor. If you have a great, great grandmother from Australia, you probably tell everyone that your name's Bruce and you come from the bush and you're related to Crocodile Dundee. Well, guess what? I'm from Hungary and... Actually, that reminds me, you wanna go get some hot dogs? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Whoa! It scared me. Now that my belly is full of trans fat, let's talk about more how I'm Hungarian. You know, I really don't know what I am. I've never done an uh, 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 ancestry test or anything like that. But from what I've heard from my grandparents is that I am uh, pretty Hungarian. And we got some Nordic, like Scandinavian in us too from like Finland or something. I don't know why I keep trying to go to a Dublin accent. I just like to talk Irish. We're Scotch Irish, you know. We're, we're, from, we're from Northern Ireland, you know. Pasta potatoes, I'm hungry. All I know is that I'm American. Cause that's all I know. I don't give a crap where my freaking 16th grandmother came from, all right? I'm American. I can't focus on that. But I reckon I do have a little bit of Hungarian in me. Why does that matter today? Well, let me get into it, ladies and gentlemen. I just gotta go into the magical drug day. Oh! The magical The magical drug Such a beautiful sound, thank you. Got a bit for blessing me. Oh, you're welcome. Come here. Yeah, come in close. If you guys don't respect that God of Dip right now, I want you to remember something. Wait until it gets dark out. Go outside and look up at the stars. You're going to see the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. When you see that Big Dipper, you're looking straight into my eyes. So watch it, Tony and Veronica and you too, Dan and you too. Jacob, and you put them back on my name. This one, okay, uh, uh, my, my energy level's not really there today. You know why? <laughs> because this stuff right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is what we're doing. This is some scary snooze right here, okay? This is some scary snooze, man. This stuff was designed to help people quit cigarettes, okay? Because, you know, as, as a lot of people know, around the world, one of the number one killers, uh, I think now, obesity and heart disease and stuff like that is the number one because all people do is eat trans fat. I would never, ever in my life do that. That's just uh, not responsible. <clears throat> but now, there is a lot of alternatives out there to help people quit smoking cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? This one comes from Hungary, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, but this product right here originated in Russia of all places, okay? Let me give you guys a little bit of look here. This right here is Kerwa. That right there is Kerwa, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I was like, Kerwa, man, okay, this stuff's from Russia, like what the heck, man? So then I look up what it means. Do you know what Kerwa means, dude? <laughs> it's a Polish word. From what I've been looking up everywhere, this is what it means. It means whore in Polish. <laughs> so basically, they named their whole entire company after you. <laughs> hey. After you, dude. Like, and I love the logo, okay? I don't know what it is, but it's a chock, chop, chocked, a chopped off chicken head. Just a dead chicken head right there, man. That's what... That's what the uh, the logo is. Now, this is the interesting stuff about this Kerwa. I first heard about this because people were telling me that I needed to get something called Kerwa Brutal, okay? And then they also told me that you need to n skip the Kerwa Brutal and get the original Russian Kerwa 90 milligram. And I was like, whoa, what in the dick is this? 90 freaking milligrams there? Guys. It gets insane, all right? Now, with Kerwa now, they're a little bit more structured company than they used to be. They moved from Russia to the EU, the European Union in Hungary, okay? And now that's where they're producing their product in the EU, okay? So, they have a little scale, a, a scale of three, all right? They've got Kerwa Power over here, which is what this is. Kerwa Power is 20 milligrams, okay? Right there. 
Then they have Kerwa Extreme, which is 30 milligrams, all right? And then they, I'm trying to make you guys see this. And then they have Kerwa Brutal, which is 50 milligrams. And when I say 50 milligrams, I mean actually 50 milligrams per pouch. I give a huge shout out to my boys over at snoozy.com for sending me this, okay? Because those guys over there, they have the hookup with all of this stuff. If you guys want to try any of this for yourself, or if you guys are interested in any other pouches like this, they have a whole bunch of them at snoozy.com. Make sure to go check them out. There's some awesome guys over there, and they've got like everything. And they have a lot of product info on their website, which I was looking on this one and it doesn't really say this on everybody else's, but on the Kerwa brand, it says extra strong, not for beginners, only for very experienced users. <laughs> I don't even like calling myself an experienced user when it comes to this stuff because I hate it. All right. But I figure maybe you guys will like this. A lot of you guys asked me to do this stuff in the comments below. Let's go ahead and just go over what they sent me. Now they did not send me any brutal yet, which is the 50 milligrams. The reason why is because I was a little bit of a puss. Get the puss. Get I was a little bit of a puss. Did you hear my neck crack, dude? Mm -mm. I feel like I almost died, dude. God dang. It was like Jackie Chan just came over and yeah! All right, in-law, here. I want you to hold these up to the camera. This one, dude, is crazy. It's forest fruit ice cream. What the heck, man? You're, you're, you're ruining the light, dude. Get your... Fa dude, you're so... There you go. Now show them. No, put it straight on the lens. Straight. Straight. Right there. Forest fruit ice cream, ladies and gentlemen. This guy... Check this one out. Black tea. Take just... Okay, dude. Black t You're too close. I can't like... Just, just, just hold it where you were. Now get out of... Okay, whatever. Get out. Get out. Go. Get. Get out of life. I've only been doing YouTube for 13 years, so I still have this gosh dang issue. Black tea, ladies and gentlemen. And bubble gum. What in the world? So we've got three... These are all the powers, which are the 20. All right? That's all I'm doing today. Because I figured maybe we'd do a little series on this. You know what I'm saying? Maybe do a little series. Do the 20, then the 30, and then the brutal. All the way up. I don't think they make the 90 anymore. Please, God, update. I hope that they don't make the 90 anymore. I am not going to go over the extreme today. We're going to save that for... Dude. We're going to sit. We're going to save that for another bitch. All right, so we got bubble gum. We got black tea. We got forest fruit ice cream. I think the winner is already chosen. I think it's the forest fruit ice cream, bro. I mean, black tea and bubble gum, very, very interesting. But I think the forest fruit ice cream, I just got to taste that right there. This can is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get a, just a close look in on here, man. The shininess of this can, the power curwa right there, dude. Look at that beautifulness. Forest fruit ice cream. About to go into the chaunch. Just made that word up right there. Just going to freaking chaunch on her, dude. That was definitely the one. Holy crap, dude. The smell. I don't even have to put my nose up to that subject. Come here. Get your nose up in here. Give that a sniffle, bruh. Whoa. Dude. Dude, it smells like the smelly markers. Holy smokes. That smell. Yep. What was those? Crayola or whatever. Remember those smelly markers when you were a kid? At least when we were kids, they had those smelly markers. That's it right there. The other thing that I noticed right off the bat is these pouches are straight up moist, man. At least that's what they look like. They look moist to me. That's crazy, dude. What in the world? These are the power, all right? Which is probably way too much as it is, okay? This is a little bit crazy, all right? We're not talking about American snooze and stuff here. We're talking about, this is legit, all right? This is not even snooze. I don't even know why I said snooze. I, that's the only thing I can compare it to. I just don't want to say what it actually is because, you know, <clears throat> we get that little, uh, chill, man. This one is, uh, it's a little overpowering, but it doesn't have that like all oh, instant headache smell to it. You know, like Pablo <sighs> for, I'm going to throw in one at first and we're going to see if this dick burns, man. This stuff ain't nothing to mess around with. Okay. This is history going down right here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I don't think some of y'all understand how serious this is right now. This is just the power, dude. We haven't even gotten to the extreme or the brutal yet. Thanks, snoozy.com. You freaking assholes. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Forest fruit ice cream going in the upper decker. Here we go. There she blows. She's in there. Yep, you can see it. Yep, get on in there, boy. Yeah. Okay. Usually, right off the back, you get a burn. Okay, there it is. Yep, there it is. All right. 
It's very minimal so far. It's very minimal. I just had it in for a second. It's very minimal so far. You get a really big burn with the minty and the wintergreen flavors that they really do have, and a lot of people love those. This is forest fruit ice cream, though. So, uh, yeah, not I'm not too sure about this flavor. How's the burn? Uh, not a crazy burn so far. It's uh, it's a slight sensation, just a slight sensation. Now, I'm 20 milligrams is nothing to me. Okay, F- 50 is nothing to me, but it's what's inside of this. It's pure Nikki. It's pure Nikki salts, dude. Like this is the purest of pure that you can get. It's not mixed in with a whole bunch of different stuff. All right. This is just pure salt that you are consuming. Okay. It's as pharmaceutical as it gets. Okay. I'm actually digging it. I'm not a fan of the Nikki pouches. Okay. I like the backer. Okay, I like the backer taste and uh, and mixed in. That's how I am. Okay, I'm an American. All right, I'm a real man. All right, we're losing those. When we, you know, back when men were men, yeah, I was born then. Okay, yeah, I'm still one. All right, I'm sitting here on YouTube as a YouTuber <laughs> doing forest fruit ice cream kerwa. Yeah, obviously a man. <coughs> okay, in law, you, you convinced me. Now I can already feel. Can already feel the Nikki. The, the burn is gone. There's no more burn. Oh, good. It's just a t- it was very small. This is the power though. This is the lowest strength at 20. Okay. Man, these these get really hard because they're a little moist. But like they're just like here, let me get up in here, man. This can you hold this? Okay, this is this is annoying. But let's get up in here and show you guys. Okay? That's what it looks like right there. Now, when I'm plumping this thing. I'm plumping this just to make sure it's not hard. But there's a little bit of moisture in there. Okay, I don't even know if you can hear me right now. This is so un- unprofessional. I apologize. But, like, I, it, there's a little bit of moisture. Wow. The buzz is good, dude. It's a perfect buzz right now. And I'm probably about to ruin it by throwing it in a... No. Here we go. Forest fruit ice cream, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Yeah, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm taking it out. Sorry. I'm going to try a different one, dude. Let's try bubble gum. Oh, there you go. Why not, dude? Okay, how's the taste so far? The taste is decent. It tastes like, um, you know what it tastes like, to be honest? Mm. You know when you go to the dentist and they put that shit on your gums? to, to They put that like gooey stuff on your gums to, yeah. to make you uh, numb? That's what it tastes like right now. Huh. It tastes almost like a, there's a hint of strawberry in there. Um, cherry. It's almost like just a bunch of them mixed together. It's like a suicide of, of fruits, you know? Here's the bubble gum. Wow. Definitely smells like bubble gum. Get up in there, dude. This is very interesting, man. This is this is one for the record books, dude. That smells good. The wow, these are uh, a little bit more white. It looks like it probably just has to do with some of the flavoring that they put into it. But uh, here goes nothing, man. Bubble gum. Not a big fan of bubble gum. I've never been a big gum chewer or anything like that. But I'm not a sweet guy, you know. I'm hard. I'm a man. You know, back when men were men. Shut up! Okay? What'd you say? Hold on, what'd you say? What'd you say? Can't hear you, dude. It's the freaking magical drop day! Now, this is probably what I would stick around right here. I wouldn't go any higher than this. Nikki's getting me now. This is 40 milligrams. So, this is already a lot more than you get in anything with an American. I would say this is probably more than you get in a whole can of American dip. Just with two pouches right here. Which is crazy to me, okay? These people over in Europe in general. Y'all crazy as hell, man. Y'all crazy as hell. Like, what are you doing with your life, man? You guys must be chain smoking like crazy over there. This needs to be sold in Spain. Gosh dang it. It probably is sold. Is this stuff sold in Spain? You guys let me know in the comments below. Anyways, this is hitting me good. You guys, I don't have to spit with this. But I do have this beautiful mud jug right here. Oh, yes, dude. Look at that thing, man. This thing is absolutely yeah. insane. That is the sexiest mud jug. Of course, this is the first time using this mud jug and I don't even have to spit in this video. But if you guys want a mud jug right now, get at it, dude. Christmas is coming up. Look at them Christmas lights, dog. That's shotgun shells, boy. I can't go too crazy, man. This is nuts. All I will say right now is if this doesn't help you quit smoking, then you have a problem, <laughs> all right? You have an actual problem, man. This is insane right now. The Kerwa Power. We've got forest fruit ice cream in. We got bubble gum and we got black tea. Two crazy flavors. Let's see what other flavors they got, man. 
They've got blueberry. They've got purple grape. They've got mango. They've got melon, eucalyptus mint, and black tea, dude. That is some crazy flavors right there. And I think, from what I've heard, they have new flavors coming out. Oh, they got wild strawberry as well. Um, and then they have CBD pouches too. So, um, big fan, big fan so far. It does, obviously these cans do have a, uh, um, a little catch lid on the top for you. <sighs> Man, dude, this is as far as I want to go. If this video gets to, to 15,000 likes, I will order the brutal. Okay. 15,000 likes. I'll get the gosh dang brutal guys. But if, if it's, like triple the amount of what I got here right now. I don't even know if I want to do that, man. It's up to y'all. It's in your freaking hands, okay? God dang it. Let's put this away. <sighs> but as far as flavor and everything goes, I'm getting a lot more out of the fr forest fruit ice cream. It's it's like dripping down. It definitely tastes like that stuff that the dentist put on there. It's not like my favorite flavor. The bubble gum's not bad. Um, I feel like I would really like that black tea. I just wanted to try the crazier flavors on the video, but that black tea, I'm going to have to try that one too. The buzz... Awesome. This is probably the area that I would stick around. But as we go into the extreme and the brutal, like I said, they're going to get a little brutal. They picked a, uh, they picked a good name for that for sure. These freaking crazy Russians, man. Yeah. And Hungarians, dude. They're, uh, they're all crazy out there, dude. God dang. Oh, had to do it once. A little bit of advice. If you guys ever do this stuff, um, if you spit, you don't feel the buzz as much. If you swallow it, you definitely get the buzz a lot quicker. So um, you don't have to spit with this stuff. It is safe to swallow. But um, I would suggest if you're a beginner, definitely spit. Ah! The logo is a chicken with its head cut off. And that's about how I feel right now, okay? I don't know what is going on right now. All I see is a Kerwa. And y'all, okay? <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. No, I don't. Ooh. Ooh, finger smell fruity, dude. Oh, fruity in the booty. I mean, uh... Oh, Lord. This stuff's kicking my dick, dude. Golly. 25, 8, 366. I'm gonna leave you with this. You're probably naked under those clothes, you curwa. We love a blanket. Not Hillary Clinton.